Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor. First of all, I just want to say thank you all my patrons for supporting me this month and thank you all for donating and for supporting my content. Being a patron is a great way to say I like this channel, I like it a lot. So, once again, I really appreciate that. Second of all, I want to start by talking about the, some discoveries I've had this uh, last week. First of all, you'd think that uh, COVID would be great for creativity and you'd think that this would be the year where YouTube blew up with videos and where there was so much new content, so many interesting things happening online. But that wasn't the case. And why wasn't it? The interesting explanation that I've come to realize is the situation for creators has gotten a lot worse this year. And it's gotten worse for three reasons. First, it's gotten bad for creators because creators are not getting the stimulation necessary to be creative. So creativity is not just a process of coming up with an idea and filming and shooting this idea. Creativity on YouTube is also going out, having conversations, and having new experiences, processing these experiences and turning them to great ideas and then making great videos. And what you'll find is as a creator, you have lots of time to make videos now, but you don't have a lot of inspiration. So that's one. Second of all, the videos that you make are in some ways of lower quality. And that's because when you make videos today, the energy you have, the passion, the joy that you usually have as a creator sharing, because creators tend to love to share and tend to find great fun in making videos, is not there. And why is it not there? Well, it's because you don't have, once again, you know, that uh, use, that energy, that stimulation uh, that you usually have when you talk. So it's not, you're, you're not feeling the same sense of joy and the same sense of uh, passion and the same sense of hope that you usually radiate in your videos. And your viewers can tell, and so can you. So it doesn't feel the same. So when you're making videos today, it doesn't really feel the same. You're not sharing from lightness. You're sharing from a sense of duty and burden. That means a lot of the content that we see this year is a bit more forced. And so as a creator, it's very important to check in with yourself. Check in with yourself and make sure that you're sharing from a position that is giving you and helping you with your mental health and well-being. So make sure that you're getting the time to re-energize and to love and enjoy, enjoy what you do. And that means make sure that you get the time, the inspiration, the fuel that you need to be creative. Don't just try to be creative, but also give yourself the energy, the joy, the relationships, the meaning that helps you create and helps you feel that you love to create. Second realization, uh, another interesting thing I've made, uh, and this is a bit different, it regards Enneagram Minds. So something I realized when I was listening to some people talking and having conflict was Enneagram Minds, they're quite interesting because they tend to refuse to represent their own standpoint. So when you challenge an Enneagram Mind on something or ask them to explain their viewpoint, they often refuse to do so outright. And this is interesting. Why do Enneagram Nines not like to share up themselves? Why don't they not like to explain themselves? Why is this so difficult for them? The reason, I think, is because Enneagram Nines want to appear neutral. Enneagram Nines, they tend to want to avoid conflict and they tend to avoid uh, explaining themselves because they don't want to seem like they have a personal standpoint. To remain mediators, to remain neutral, to remain in ambiguity, you have to set aside your own feelings, you have to set aside your own needs. You shouldn't talk about or explain your own values or why you do what you do. Because it gives people the impression that you are a person with your own agenda, your own goals, and your own motives. And that opens you to criticism and to conflict. By starting to explain or talk about why you do things or why by explaining why you feel a certain way or why something is important to you, you open to other people to criticize or ridicule you or to get upset with you or to go into a conflict with you on what you want and what you feel and what you need. So as an Enneagram 9, 
it's very important to take that time to actually recognize your own standpoint and your own values. Know what it is you're feeling and know what it is you need. And if you can't talk about it openly with other people, at least take your time to explain things for yourself. Explain for yourself why you do things a certain way and why you feel a certain way. That means if you feel like you made a mistake or said something stupid or if you did something wrong at work or if you weren't happy with something you did, do give yourself the chance to give and to make an excuse for yourself. And that means allow yourself to make excuses for yourself. <laughs> this might feel a bit weird. Allow yourself to make excuses for yourself. I mean, should you really make excuses for yourself? Yeah, I think so. I think if you're an Enneagram 9, you definitely should allow yourself to make excuses for yourself. It's a good thing, so feel good about that. Once again, thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, and I hope you all take care of yourselves and make this a nice and comfortable November. Not too stressful. Please take it easy and relax.